This is our most powerful Iron Man project ever, a 1.5 kilowatt fiber laser. Is that actually possible? How would you even go about creating a highly complex mobile laser and cutter and welder and make it sick and stylish like an Iron Man tech? There is no way I've made something that does all that. Or did I? With this new laser tech, we are now one step closer to the real life Tony Stark. To this day, the most powerful self-contained laser that we can fit into an Iron Man gauntlet is still this 100 watt blue laser that we use in our Iron Man repulsor. At 100 watts, this thing is already terrifying. But I want more power! Just 10 years ago, a 1000 watt laser would have cost you upwards of a quarter million dollars. If you could even get your hands on one. Nowadays, you can get a one and a half thousand watt fiber laser shipped to your door for just about six thousand dollars. Let's just say we have our fair share of lasers. Giant industrial fiber laser cutter, Mopa laser engraver, laser resin 3D printer, a CO2 laser, nuke reality laser cutter, fiber laser welder, a laser etching machine, and a miniature CO2 laser. That's ridiculous. Our industrial laser cutter that you've seen us use on almost all of our projects uses a 1500 watt infrared laser similar to this. This thing is big, heavy, and fragile and it requires over 10,000 watts of input power, as well as a mini fridge sized water chiller to keep itself cold. But it is capable of cutting through half inch thick steel like butter. Unfortunately, there's no way that I'm getting all of this mounted on my back. Bruh. But lasers like this come with a nice glass fiber optic cable to transmit the power, which means if we had the right lenses, we could mount all of that onto my gauntlet and still use it from pretty far away. The initial plan was to use a cutting head from a fiber laser machine. But as you can tell, this thing on an Iron Man gauntlet would be a little oversized. But then we got our hands on this laser welder, which is way more compact and simpler to use. And in addition to welding, this can also cut through steel and remove rust. To do the welding and the rust removal, the laser actually moves back and forth using a tiny mirror on a galvanometer to actually point the laser in different directions. But if this thing's on my hand, I can just point the laser with my hand, which means I can actually remove this entire part. And since I've designed a custom fancier nozzle, we actually don't need that either. So what we're left with is simply our water-cooled collimating lens and our focusing lens. So I needed to create a piece to join the two together at the right distance and with perfect alignment. After a bit of prototyping, I came up with a design that we can manufacture in aluminum on our Tormach 1100 CNC machine. And this is our final piece, which actually sits right in between the collimating lens and the focusing lens to keep them in perfect alignment. This is the smallest one and a half thousand watt fiber optics lens assembly I've ever seen. And this is gonna be perfect for our Iron Man laser gauntlet. The build of the gauntlet consists of 66 pieces that bend and weld together into five assemblies. Before we start making the entire gauntlet, we have to figure out the order of operations. We know we want to laser cut the pieces, we want to laser paint them. Wait, laser painting? When you get a piece of stainless hot enough, it forms a layer of oxide. And based on the thickness of the oxide, we actually reflect different colors. This right here is our Omtech MOPA laser. And basically what it can do is super precisely adjust the power, duration, speed, and frequency of our laser pulses to accurately control the temperature of the stainless, giving us any thickness of oxide we want, which means whatever color we want and we want to laser weld them. But the problem is the laser engraver that we're going to use to paint our pieces doesn't really do great with non-flat objects. So I want to run a test and I want to figure out what surface finish and what order of operations is going to give us the cleanest color and the least amount of scratches after we're done bending all these pieces. So when we finish the entire thing, it doesn't have a huge amount of scratches and it looks really clean and really consistent. So we have the painted then bent, bent then painted, sandblasted, painted, then bent, and sandblasted, bent, and then painted. And I think out of the four, the one that looks the neatest is actually the very first one we did, which was painted and then bent. So these three don't make the cut, and I think this is our winner. Can you believe that this is all going to become an Iron The TIG welder was needed in the early stages of connecting these thin metal pieces and getting each piece aligned. But from there on, it was full steam ahead on the laser welder. In true Stark Industries fashion, we're using lasers for everything. We are inside the laser cutter. Okay, that looks pretty good. That's a single piece. First bend of the gauntlet. Another like 50 to go. Look at that. It doesn't seem like much right now. But once I'm done with it, it's gonna be pretty cool. It's incredible how simple laser welding is. To do a weld like this requires tons of training for TIG welding. But this laser welder, it's like a hot glue gun. And I say, that is the quickest welding process I've ever learned. 
Have you ever dreamt of becoming a Viking hero? You all know we have. This video is sponsored by Viking Rise, a new and exciting mobile strategy game that lets you vicariously live as a Viking chieftain. You get to build your own Viking village, train your warriors, and battle other players in real time. You can even team up with your friends to form a clan to defend your empire and conquer the world. But check this out. Viking Rise is currently doing a giveaway of $5,000 cash. Download the game using my link below and give yourself a chance at these prizes. In Viking Rise, you can recruit famous Vikings such as Ivor, Ragnar, and Bjorn and discover their special skills and amazing backstory. The graphics are stunning, the world changes with each season, and the storylines weave throughout. It makes me feel as if I'm in a movie, and we all know how we love movies here at Hacksmith Industries. So sit back and relax with Viking Rise's unique idol features, as upgrades, true building, research, and more can be automatically completed in just a click of a button. Once again, there's a $5,000 cash for grabs in two easy ways. There's a might ranking where the top five players will each walk away with $500 cash, as well as a ton of lucky winners who will be picked to win $100 cash each. Valhalla is calling. Download Viking Rise today and unlock a free gift pack worth $200 and become one of Midgard's greatest legends. Solid. What's going, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> go turn on the ventilation. Gotta go turn on the air. Gotta go get my gloves, my glasses. Oh, this bucket is a terrible freaking work anymore. Everything moves. That was my backup piece. Where the heck are my damn nozzles? Why? Why, laser? Will you just? Burn myself. Oh, like, burn hair in here. Yep. Nope. That's just human flesh. Silly lasers. Our previous gauntlets looked straight out of Iron Man, but to put them on and use them was so uncomfortable. With this revision, I changed that by sewing in a Kevlar glove that holds both the chainmail glove and the air cuff together. So theoretically, it'll all be one piece and be super easy to slide my hand in, give this some air, and it'll hold onto my hand nice and tight. This is not going according to plan. With the shape of this being so like wavy. The problem is the laser engraver that we're gonna use to paint our pieces doesn't really do great with non-flat objects. Gloves also not coming together as well as I'd hope, so. Hey Jeff. Hi. Obviously we've had to do, in order to join up some of the pieces, we've had to weld and grind some areas where the surface is like very consistent. It's very hard to get it perfectly flat and the focus on the same spot. Yeah, it's the issue of doing any curved surface because the focus is really important with the color. Physically, I'd say this looks way better than the last ones. It was a cool try. Like, the, the laser works great for painting flat things. But painted properly, I think this will look really legitimate. So, other things. So these fingers, same thing with them. Even when it did weld, it would just like have pieces of wire sticking in. Mm. And it, it was just so like... Can you even get your finger in there right now? It. No. Well, even my broken finger has more, more flex than... The <laughs> yeah. That's my other finger. Why don't we get a really small stainless steel flat head screw, okay. and then that way you can push it through the chain mill, through one of the links, mm -hmm. and then it could stick through the slot or change this so it's a hole. Okay. And then that way, really you just need to tack weld that screw in place, and that will hold everything there. It's weird, like this is our third one, and this and it's one is, easier. it's not gotten <laughs> easier. <laughs> so I spent almost two weeks of his time painting all of these individual pieces. It's gonna be very upset when I tell them we're gonna get rid of this entire finish. What do we say when we fall down? Man. Is that an Iron Man quote? No, no, it's a Bruce Wayne, uh, an Alfred quote. Something about getting back up. It's pretty logical. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to tell Linus? Yeah. Hang on, I need to find this quote. I think we're gonna take a break with uh, the laser painting. I think we're gonna sandblast this whole thing. No I'm gonna get, get rid of this finish and then just go with traditional paint. Let's go. <laughs> I know you put a lot of heart into this. I understand. It does look messed up. <laughs> Sad. Yay. Yay. Alright. I'll do this in Yeah. Sad times. Sad times. Did you find the quote, James? Yes. The quote was. Why do we fall? 
so we can learn to pick ourselves up again. That's right, Bob. Pick yourself up. Oh, 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 I'm gonna pass out. And why do we fall, Bruce? So we can learn to pick ourselves up. <laughs> There's still rope in here. Why is there rope in there? That's what I was using to hold the finger open. Whoa. That's why you couldn't fit your finger in it, Bogdan. No, you still can't fit your finger in it. That was a Dr. What, Pimple yeah. Popper. Oh, stuff, you right? could! We, we ruined everything. No, you still no, can't. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bendier now. Red Bull with extra Kevlar bits. Uh -huh. Did you sprinkle Kevlar in my Red Bull? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe we shouldn't sew a gross stainless steel unfinished finger. Like we'll, we'll, we'll cast it in epoxy and it'll be a block. So you can... What do you think, Bogdan? Like 50 bucks? Okay, that's like $8, not even like $5. Yeah, but it's 30. a collectible. It's a one of a kind, Bogdan. $100. Gotta be less than the mini saver. $35. $700. Can someone can make that themselves. $500. Themselves? $40. Okay, that's more reasonable. $40,000. Yeah, we'll just let Jose figure it out. Yeah, I think that's fair. After hours of adjustments, connecting the fingers, painting, and setting up the electronics. I'm tired. Which, by the way, you can view the full schematic diagram using the maker.io link below. We finally finished the laser gun. Well, I'm excited, nervous. I'm nervous. We got a little bit of a leak. You can see there's, I think one of the hoses is a little loose but it's not too major right now, so I think this will work for this test. This is the most powerful Iron Man laser we've ever built, and I cannot wait to see what it can do. Let's get straight into it. Woo! That was so fast. We're moving on to a mannequin head. Lasers on, meet your maker. Woo There's a hole straight through that mannequin head. Look at that. <laughs> we saw what this can do to one mannequin head. But what if you're fighting an entire army? That is pretty warm. Look, you see the beam? That is toasty. I think we're through. <laughs> that was awesome. The amount of heat that, that came off of that helmet with all this oxygen, ridiculous. I think it started burning the door over here, Bogdan. Yeah, I think the door is smoking a little bit. One, right? Done. So compared to the previous lasers we've done, it takes a little bit longer to get going because it's an infrared laser. But as soon as the material becomes a little bit charred, the whole thing just melts instantly. How do you feel about it, Mike? Well, it's a little scary. That thing's got a lot of power. You saw the range that it fired at. I mean, he, he went right through all three foam heads and it started burning the door like 10 feet behind it. The thing's scary. It's awesome, but it's scary. Logan, thoughts? This thing, uh... A little scary, Daryl. <laughs> that laser is kind of like the bad boy that you should be worried about, you know what I mean? Be worried about or be inspired to be. Woo! That's awesome! Here's the right way to light a candle, using a Hacksmith Mini Saber. Easy, but I don't think it's overkill enough. <laughs> Woo, look at a little smoke ring. <laughs> you guys are finding like the weirdest stuff for me to burn, but uh, I guess this is how you deep hit an avocado. Precision. I, I should have picked it before it started raining, and now it's now it's not lighting. And... You know, Mike, my, my, I got this. It's okay. It's okay. Sure? I got this. Oh, don't worry. I'm sorry, man. That's the kind of camping I like. Mike, why are you bad at making fire? I don't know, man. It looks missing. He lit it in two seconds. Our Hacksmith shop coats are fire resistant, but are they laser resistant? They are not laser resistant. What about some of our other Hacksmith products? 
like our safety glasses or our stone paper notebook. Oops, that's why I'm wearing these. Oh, I mean, the shop girl looks pretty unarmed, honestly. This thing is scary, but if you need to protect yourself against Iron Man, this might be a good choice. Light him up! Woo! Woo! That's toasty! Look at that. But can it weld? I am totally melting this right now. Not as good as my TIG skills. But that is a solid weld. I'm gonna try to pop a hole through this from here. I think we're through. Oh yeah, we're through. Okay, you wanna do some rust removal? Look at that. Perfectly clean piece of metal. No more rust. We've got a variety of items that we stole from our coworkers' desks to help test stuff. And we've got it set up on a couple of different sizes of rope and metal chain. Let's see what it can do. What a problem. Nice. Next up, we've got some metal chain and metal cable. Oh. Oh. Is it gonna, is it gonna cut it? Yes! <laughs> and that was with a long distance lens. So now we have the short focus lens and the high pressure oxygen nozzle to be able to cut through metal. Let's do this. Nice. No problem. Should I, should I pop this? Look at that, look how well that cuts. Ah! Thicker metal cable. metal cable on fire. The thickest metal chain we have. Perfect. We managed to cut everything from two millimeter rope all the way to one inch thick rope and even 3 16 inch steel chain. This is a metal door that I am gonna cut through. Look at this, it's literally cutting straight through that door. The door is in on fire on the inside. This literally feels like Iron Man. Look at that. That, just a piece of spaceship. We cut through a 16th inch steel door, but what about 8th inch steel plate? There's molten steel flying everywhere. Holy crap, this is basically like the lightsaber all over again. Except this time I'm Iron Man. Wow. I just got a piece of metal in my mouth. That is eight inch steel plate. Look at that. That's so hot. This thing can burn, this thing can engrave, this thing can cut through steel. And there you have it, a 1500 watt Iron Man laser gauntlet. If you like this video, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys, and thank you for making this real. Make sure to check out hacksmith.store, and I'll see you in the next video. Woo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>